Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, well, we've managed to uh, beat back the Russian forces here at Transylvania. And now we're going to clear out this little section uh, of enemy troops by mopping up the last of these Russian and Polish pretenders. So let's take them on. So I think we're in a position now to actually make some really quite good gains. In the sort of Romania area, we now have superiority of arms. So we're probably going to be in a good position to drive forward and take the war to the enemy. And we are, but we are also probably going to be looking at attacking through towards Turkey. Ooh, that's not the best terrain. Okay, let's deploy my heavy guns on this high ground here form form a defensive perimeter with my regular troops come on you can just about deploy keep my elites back as a bit of a reserve put my Jaeger on the left carabiner oh. Dragoons and Carabina together because they're both ranged cavalry. Heavies on the right. General in the center. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is this is the right call. Because it deprives the enemy of using the hill for cover. So we're going to take this slow. Let's form up my army. Actually, I suppose it would be good form to keep my elites together because they're going to head towards the hill. The enemy have a slight defilade anyway from the hill. Let's let my line form up before we do anything too crazy. Aim at the cavalry. Now they're exposed. Make sure my cavalry runs into position because they're skirmish cavalry. Good kills, good kills. I mean, the Polish reinforcements coming in from behind them, which isn't really a problem because uh, they've not got, lo got a lot of uh, troops to bring in. My guns engage 2nd Regiment of Dragoons that are advancing north, well, advancing ahead of the hill. So we're going to mop up, well this infantry will be mopped up in due course. Can probably stand. To advance my left flank. I don't mind that their cavalry's on the move, doesn't really matter. They're only dragoons, and actually, my hussars will have a go. General's enemy general unit was looking like they want to get into position. Yeah, so the artillery's gonna do a real number on them. Set my guns to attack. Well, my oh see, I did try to retarget them, so my heart my hussars. Gonna take a bit of damage here, but we are gonna mop up these dragoons before they can do too much. Just keep attacking them because they're all mixed up, but then push my cavalry up the flanks. Enemy general's unit. I mean, yeah, like uh, yeah, yeah, skirmish cavalry plus skirmishers. 
meant they had a bad time. Although it looks like we want to make a make a go of it this time, so let's retarget my guns. I'm hoping I can get these guys to push off from their defensive position. Yeah, there. The Russians are unwilling to push. It's an artillery advantage this side of the hill, which is a smart call. Because these are some of the best artillerymen in, in the world. going to drift within musket range. Here they come. Oh, my elites make ready and fire. The 19th foot guards are also going to join. Yeah, they're shattered. Okay, we've managed to get this infantry unit to retreat. Lots of the enemy units are well, they're hiding. They're not hidden, they're hiding. They advance too far that way, my skirmishers will start to pick them off. They too are shattered. Advance up the hill. Not worried about speed of advance. We're going to walk. The enemy are walking away from us. Something like this. It's not the best from a firing position perspective, but there we go. Keep on advancing. My our gunners are going to uh, try limber up. Still dropping good shells over the hill, but I think line of sight will become a problem. Yeah, you men can withdraw as much as you like. I know, windmill. Okay. My artillery men are moving up. I mean, it's not going to really help. The idea is try and I can try and move my cavalry over here. And my skirmish cavalry can open fire on the enemy as much as they like. Okay, there's the enemy line. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy to let my let my Jaegers run. Let's get into a position to open fire on the Polish contingent as well. My elites are going to advance up to here. These units can push up here. These units on the flank, now they are going to run, because they're going to be under fire. The cavalry could do something, but I'm more inclined to keep them running around. And now, to be honest, I think ultimately everyone is going to run. Skirmish cavalry engage the weak left flank. And my marines and so on push. Skirmishers push. 
shattered and shattered. Good. Line infantry is going to go for this unit of dragoons that have slipped through the gap. Everyone else, though, make ready and fire. Oh, they aimed at the cavalry. Okay, in which case you guys form up. You may have fire at will on. Okay, let's begin. Begin some level of encirclement. Yeah, there goes enemy cavalry. Enemy right flank is folding. I think we, we got them surrounded, boys. Just need my infantry to form up into position. You guys block off that position. Yeah, I'm not even going to really need my melee cavalry. My skirmish cavalry can sit here loading and firing in their own time. My skirmishers have an excellent field of fire. No matter where they go, they're under fire from someone. It's oh, it's the general. Hello. Oh, balls are lashing the ground everywhere. So much death. The yeah, enemy general's finally been shot off his horse. Don't, you guys don't go mad. Ceasefire. Yeah, we're going to continue it. But I may have jumped the gun a little bit by moving all of my heavies over here. So you're going after the 33rd. You're going to go after the 21st. running over this way, can go over that way. I mean, these guys just are gonna not even make it through my line, I can't imagine. I mean, some of them are gonna get through. But not many. You're going to go after the 44th. There's 100 odd men remaining there. You go after the last unit of that militia. You go after the 43rd. You men go after the 6th. Jobs are good in. Yeah, we're going to be in a. Things are going to get tricky. Okay, you can pursue the men that are still running. You men go after okay, both of you guys. Pursue this the unit, the 43rd. Just try to stop them from running. There we go. And then it's up to you guys to knock out the last men of the 44th. Six men remaining. Are they all together? No, there's one, two over here. But they're done for. Keep right clicking to sometimes make them stop and fight. Like that. Nice! That was tied up rather neatly, I must admit. So we lost 70 men, we lost killed 2,000 Russians and Polish. The Polish oh, contingent oh. is gone entirely. Very well, you men reinforce. 
and be backed up by this fellow, by Mr. Heinemann, who is reinforcing. You are, you need support. Two gunners and an intact infantry unit can push up. And you require... Okay, one more infantry unit. New chaps continue to recruit. Let's upgrade this in steam engine factory. Okay, you guys are fully replenishing. You guys are now going to fully replenish. There's a lot of firepower here. And you are ready to drive forward. Once these guys push out from here, we can upgrade industrial mining complex. Steam engine factory. These palatial estates. Plus these ports. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff we can upgrade. I want to upgrade this building here because it will help us be able to push out from Istanbul. You're going to continue to raid because we are trying to slowly eke out the best options really across the board. Okay, so... I think so. I got. I was asked, why don't I recruit much stuff from Cairo? And you know what? That is a fair comment because Cairo does provide some more unique units. So, like two raw Cairo, raw Cairo infantry guards, plus two whatever they are, African infantry guards. Because African infantry guards, they're kind of not. They're not necessarily as good as regular line infantry, but at least. It's completely correct. It does. It will. It would mix things up a bit rather than just flat colonial line infantry armies. Okay, yeah, you're gonna just. Well, you're going. You're gunning for Alexand uh, for Ankara, aren't you? You are indeed. And you're in a good enough spot that you can hop out of St. Petersburg and you hop in. So I want you to attack this fellow and destroy them so this army can head north and deal with these Russians. As frustrating as that is. There's a lot of stuff we can do. A whole lot of stuff. One thing I do want to do is take my Cheval Leger out of Prague because they are happy. Get up to here. Demolish the steam engine factory because otherwise these guys will just break it. Pretty sure Mr. Meyer, your army's in tip-top condition, so combine these infantry units so they can hold as reinforcements. You're going to block up this area a bit more conclusively. Mr. Merck, get replenishing. He's got a lot of enemies heading your way. Or I could just push you guys up. You men push up ahead of them. You men push behind them. Let's try. Let's try recruit just a couple of units of line just to help plug that gap. Because right now that means these guys are able to support each other should the Russians drive west. Abraham Alexeyev. Abram, yeah, it is Abram. And Igor Ovsyankov. You guys are holding can try and repair that building. Let's upgrade your artillery building, but I think. Let's see. Let's try to take Ankara. Oh, there's no one in it. Demand surrender. Very well. We'll do this the old fashioned way. Dig into Ankara. Try and lose as few um, armies as possible because I expect us to get completely and rapidly counterattacked. So if we can take take the city with as few casualties as possible, hold it for as long as we can, destroy as many Ottoman troops as we can. I think that will be the ideal scenario. So gunners behind the line. How it's is up in their face. So let's go for a melee contingent that's going to hide in the woods. Largely hide in the woods. There we go. 
plus more of a ranged force. Their job isn't to assault the breaches, it's just to, to uh, occupy them. Let's put m all of my, my cavalry out over wide. And essentially it does give the game away. If something is up, but I don't really care. Gunners. Knock down the walls. Artillery drop, quick climb on the centre. That's a lot of armed populace. Shells inbound. There we go, some good hits. Okay, now I can be a bit more particular and target one unit. Oh, to be honest, I may as well both go for them. Okay, well, I've got my orders, so let's speed up time, because we're just trying to... Well, I want to make two holes in the walls first. That's what I want to do. I don't want to make too many, because that'll make it more difficult for us to hold down the line. I mean, Quickline there is doing stupendous work. So much so, let's take one of these guys and target an Israeli unit. One more volley could knock it out. I mean, yeah, they're doing great work in the centre. Because, I mean, look how many men have died due to the quick climb hammering. I mean, they've got some garrisons and swordsmen as well. That does make them worth killing. Okay, so one of these units start to pick off some of these these garrison units. I'm not overly concerned about the bulk of their army. Let's also kick the tires and light the fires on some on my offensive operations. We're just nuking the breaches right now. Yeah, the job isn't to attack through the breach, it's just to hold, put troops out there to hold them at risk. And if they come out, we will lash them with expert musketry. Like accuracy 64 from the fusiliers. They outshoot my skirmishes and they reload very fast. Compared to Western European mercenaries, 42 62 for accuracy. Marines. Secure the gate. Regiment of line infantry. Make ready at the gate. Grenadiers. Secure the gate. So you need no mercenaries. Secure the gate. Just keep securing the gate. It's not in our interests to push forward too aggressively and lose men unnecessarily. Redeploying a garrison skirmisher unit. Get some marines. Oh, these light no marines. Yeah, they are marines. Get forward and capture the walls. Right now, my howitzers just go to work on this breach right here. Freikorps cease fire. To be honest, we may even cease fire opening up the second breach. Because right now, that's they're all focused guarding one breach. Carcass shot inbound. Killed a handful of cuirassier. And the men that are going to be doing the heavy lifting are scaling the wall. You want to try and lash them with musket fire? 
You can try. Cease fire. You men aren't going to want to push out of the wall because you know that your doom awaits you if you do. So they're just a czar, Gomish troops. They will die quickly to the, the hardened elite marines and then the wall will be secured and the 36th will advance just let these men scale the walls because then eventually I'll pour them down onto the floor of the fortress Now sending troops to interdict us. Keep attacking the center. Eventually the gate will be ours. My, my grenadiers are making their way in. That's this gatehouse. Charge my cavalry in. They start, they're starting to push out. So now my brigade's in front. Okay, go for the... You go for the marine. You go for the howitzers. Where's my other unit? My cuirassier. Go for the melee troops in the center. There we go. Good work. These units down off the walls as quickly as we can. We haven't taken the gate yet. Let's see, Mick, let's flood it with marines. Let my grenadiers focus on the on the Azar. There we go. The fortress is taken. Or well, the gatehouse is taken. New men storm through, cuirassier storm through, marines storm down. Yeah, they are attacking or attempting to attack my cavalry. However, well, they're currently unsupported, and my inline infantry is going to form up to provide some return fire. wanted my marines to push down the wall but it appears they do not want to you men push forward to buy some fire into the rear of the gate you men push up to about here then you men push in Go on, 92nd Regiment. Is anyone stuck? Ah, oh, there are people stuck at the gate. Charge. Because there are people stuck in the gate, they will never be able to complete their firing drills. But I don't think it's going to really matter. You men get down here. My marines are going to help make sure some of these fellows no longer survive. I mean, the enemy are retreating. There's a unit of a czar that's come back from retreating, though. Make sure my howitzers cease fire. Get in there, Marines. That's what they really won't like. You know, my Grenadiers form up. Uh, 
Ah, you guys, ceasefire. That's right, my fusiliers are going to join the combat. So this already unit is trapped. There's only 31 of them. They're already wavering. Who says fusiliers can't fight? They can, just not quite so well as you'd like. One last more to crewman. Charge my grenadiers in as well against the Cicerelli unit because things are bogging down. As they tend to do during these battles, they do bog down, but that's not such a bad thing. go. Excellent. Don't care what you guys do, file lock on Populus. 36th Regiment's taking a bit of a hammering. There's one last gun there. But another way to beat him is, I think. He will be executed by a firing squad. As long as they don't shoot into this combat. Which they shouldn't do. <laughs> oh no, there's not going to be enough time! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Hurrah! The glorious Bavarian flag. Nice. So we didn't lose too many men. We would have lost a handful when we attacked the walls, but overall, yeah, 465, that's pretty good. So they will really, really hate us. But let's get the walls repaired. Let's get army re reinforced. Ah, okay, let's get rid of the University of Konya. Is that the only one? Lots of happiness buildings, which which definitely does help because we're the only hate us by minus two. So when we get rid of the university, they'll love us. Does mean you chaps and a Sigmund get over to Izmir. Oh no, we've been intercepted, and their army's depleted to hell and back anyway. Excellent. Let's mop up this Ottoman army, we can secure the port for our purposes. Then we can head east and begin to attack the infantry on the south coast of Turkey. So my gunners going to be on a slightly raised terrain behind the line. Well, there's a bit of a death delayed. My howitzers are going to be deployed up front. My infantry form a solid core with a grenadier unit and a Jaeger unit on either flank. Something a bit more traditional. Reasonable firing lines. I suppose I better put a heavy cavalry unit plus a lancer guard unit together because lancer guards aren't so good after the charge and a heavy cavalry unit and hussar unit together. Point my general. They're a lot closer than we thought. Focus my quick lime on the enemy cavalry, not there. Not their artillery. I did hear their ah cavalry charge, but I don't mind. Ah, some of my infantry's already formed up. How cute. Ah, oh, too bad we've got sound shenanigans. There we go. Another unit of Mamelukes. 
It's entering the fray and is being repulsed. There's another unit of Mamelukes. To be honest, my howitzers switch to round shot. Just bombard some of these fellows in the rear. Some Mameluke units pushing in. They've, they've not got very men at all. Oh, even fewer now. They routed when they hit our line. of souls, eh? No, deploy where I want you to. My gun, their gunners are fleeing rather. I don't have, my gunners aren't fleeing. General's bodyguard plus a unit of Nizam infantry really dug in behind the wall to the rear. Send the light horse after the general's bodyguard. Yeah, I mean, come on. My Jaeger just doing fantastic damage. Ah, not my cavalry. You missed anyway. Go get him. You men both gang up on the risks of souls. You chaps cease fire. Artillery cease fire. Hello. Form line. Heavy cavalry, charge! Bashi bazooks are vulnerable. Enemy general's been killed. Okay, so you men redeploy like so. You men. Deploy as well. I mean, this heavy cavalry is going to take a lot of damage, but they're going to be so heroic doing it, and they're going to pull back. Come on, there we go. Let's see, run at an angle because then they should minimise friendly fire damage then spin around and have Adam and this infantry spin around like so engage the hand mortars quick before they fire Even though there's, these are Lancer, Lancer Guard that aren't quite so good when the going gets tough. I could chase them down to just make sure they're definitely dead, but to be honest, this army was so depleted anyway, I don't think it's going to really matter. General's already dead, so we're attacking these guys just to make them fall back. There we go, the Nizam's broken ranks. Defend against the 25th Horse Guards. Bayonet charged in the rear. Nice. And they're not going to like that. 24th Regiment storming in. Saying, oh no, you don't. Oh no, the Jaeger, Jaeger's ceasefire. Nice dodge, man. There they go. 
Good job they intercepted us, otherwise that could have gone badly wrong. Nice, nice, nice. That's one army. Oh, they're not, they're not even dead. Well, you're going to just mop out the rest. Probably lost, lost more men during that than I did in the actual attack. So you guys recover. There we go. So that's now our shipyard. Okay, so now we've taken this, you can blockade Sevastopol. No trade income for you. Zeros across the board. Nice. We've still got some troops to the south here. Quite a significant number. So, yeah, that's kind of why it's important. Now we've got it to hold on to it. This is going to be dodgy. Because you may well take Baghdad next turn. You're going to get there faster. You're probably going to get there in one turn. But we'll have to defend as much as we can. To prevent... Well, to make it so that whoever we fight to take it back is not quite as dangerous as they could be. Puckle guns and so on. Yeah. Royal Academy might not be a bad get, especially as it's in our capital. Okay. So you're waiting for some artillery. And then you'll be ready to also push probably you're probably going to come down south towards Ankara to help fight these fellows or maybe you might both combine and drive south here maybe let's see what happens so Konya is going to be demolished then up in the north we do not need you here anymore because we own the entire Baltic coast significant Russian fleet mostly just a bunch of fourths with some brigs and other nonsense so what I'm going to do is you're going to hold here I'm going to top your navy up with some oh do I not have any don't have any ability to recruit first rate inside the Baltic Sea They can keep raiding. I just want to boot. Add a couple of first raids onto this fleet. Probably. Well, to be honest, could just upgrade in general. Get rid of some of our fifths and replace some of our weaker ships. I mean, ultimately, that fleet can defeat this fleet. Because it's just what? One, two, five fifth rate, five fourth rates, and I've got that many already. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Let's go get him. We got a fleet in Sweden, which I would like to transfer to Archangelsk. When that happens and begin to capture some of the Russian rear areas. Okay, so. Second, second, third, third. Fourth, 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 fourth. Admiral. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Oh, with support. But I wonder what support is. Is it going to be just a sloop? Yeah, it is. No. <laughs> Don't worry, fella. We got this. Heavy hitters up front. Weaker ships to the rear. Yeah, the fourth, fourth rate is going to be what we want. But we'll take what we can get. There's a lot of Russian ships. Sloop to the rears a little bit poorly. I mean, you can see the sea through his timbers. That's how bad he is. Yeah, brig of war, fourth, fourth, sloop privateer, sixth, fifth. I'm not bothered about capturing. I just want to damage and destroy. Svetlana Elena Vola, a privateer. I mean, you screwed up big time, privateer. You're supposed to be out here to make cash. Right now, everyone's going as slow as my two second rates up front, Rochen and Grief. 
Regulus, Mira, Durin, Sea Adler. Sea Adler? Sea Tree? No, Sea Eagle, that's it. Adler Tag. Uh, World War II and so on. I remember. Okay, right, we're gonna do this. Suffer some initial attrition to begin to cut their formation. We're not so much cross the T. We're going to T their cross, so to speak. Because, yeah, my second rate, Rockin', is already not in great shape. Just keep going at full sail. Man, Elena's not in great shape. You're going to just beat us and we're going to wholesale? No, you're going to wholesale. Ha <laughs> ha! You're going to try and scoot around us. Fire what limited broadside I have into you, because I've got one. Excellent. Don't worry about Svetlana. Full sail. You might even just start firing the optic chain. This chain is chaotic. Oh, fire whatever broadside you've got. Scoot a third rate along through the rear of the formation. Attempting to cut the corner. You're on fire, so turn fire at will off. Someone's lost a mast, I heard it. Oh, that fell out to the rear. Keep on heading forward. Some fourth rates have escaped. Second rate's a bit peaky. Fire has not been put out. There we go. Just keep putting damage on the enemy ships. Keep churning out your broadsides. That's their fleet cut in half. You ships bringing up the rear need to sail at full sail. Reload. You guys might pivot. Fire. It's broadside. Now oh, your broadsides aren't really doing super well here. The second rate's upset. By a chain, just try and slow him down a bit. Sail forward. Oh, my ships are 
surrendered. You're going, oh, you've been isolated and defeated, or will be defeated. Ultimately, I think I need to start. No chain shot. Doesn't win wars. But what it does do is it hobbles enemy ships. But then again, some ships like you guys are a bit hobbled anyway. You get out here to help bolster. Yours are so close. Just fire around, shot. Another third race surrendered. Second race routing. Oh god, this is damn it. Okay, right, you guys book it. <laughs> Sometimes it's all you can do. God damn it. It's not great that the direction they choose to route at times, but... Just book it. Just book it. I mean, it wasn't going to end well regardless. It's interesting that you've chosen direction you've chosen to withdraw but in reality you just want to try and go that way you just did like a squares on a checkboard like what the hell are they trying to oh, they're trying to um, border which is fair enough I know. Okay, you guys are screaming at this, going, oh, stupid decision. It was a stupid decision. I didn't really think they were going to retreat this way. This is the way the wind's going. <laughs> ah, bad. Bad, bad, bad. I suck. I suck at naval battles so much. Ah, oh, just call it. <laughs> I don't normally do that, but what's going to happen is all I'm doing is prolonging the agony. Oh, yeah, look at that. They've captured a load. A load of my ships. Oh well. <laughs> you, good sir. You're going to be pensioned off for retirement. And your ship is gone. <laughs> that never happened. Okie dokie. Let's get back to building up a decent fleet. Not that I can really do that. For the state of my ships. But yeah, that's just... That's just dumb. That was so dumb, and I suck so much. Oh well, these things happen. Keep on building, go on the galley, and then I think it's going to be the end of the turn. Because you're waiting on a handful of troops. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, some more stuff's coming along. Interesting. But yeah, let's get a bit. Let's get a real, real good navy built up proper one because once my first and seconds once my first and seconds and a couple of thirds i got once they got surrounded and isolated and effectively defeated and the rest of my fleet was too far away to keep up then that's when we knew we were screwed because that wasn't going to get better uh, okay attack them oh sweet <laughs> i was worrying about those cavalrymen see if i'd have to uh get up some shenanigans to the rear but apparently not not when's uh raiding their own people's lands in revenge for what's been done to them. Ottomans are on the march. Well, their agents are on the march. Let's see where the Russians elect to go. Lots of stuff going on in the Americas. Not too terrible. 
not great, but not terrible. But looking at the timer, I think this is something I'm going to kick off the next episode with. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for an interesting battle. See if we can win in Baghdad. Uh, the aim would be to try and win. But if we can't win, at the very least, this army is within range of here uh, next turn to immediately take it back. So, see you next time, everyone. <laughs>